One of the disadvantages of frozen gasoline fuel is when the temperature drops during cold seasons or in cold places. When the gasoline temperature drops, sediments are removed first, then heavy hydrocarbon molecules being to freeze and uh, continue to mummify as temperatures continue to decrease. To prevent freezing of gasoline, it is necessary to raise the temperature of the gasoline in the fuel storage tanks. One way to increase the temperature of the gasoline fuel in the fuel tank is to use pipes carrying the hot fluid flow. The use of helical tubes in situations where space constraints are due to greater heat transfer in a given space is of particular interest. Gasoline is not a pure substance and consists of several hydrocarbons and additives such as ethanol, hexane, heptan, and so on. Since most of the gasoline have a unique chemical structure called isomers, the solidification and melting point of each of these materials are different. Uh, this inner tube carries a flow of water at a temperature higher than the temperature The present issue concerns the simulation of a gasoline fuel tank carrying a single way reciprocating a spiral tube passing through the tank. The inner tube carries a flow of water at a temperature higher than the temperature of the gasoline to increase the fuel temperature by creating heat transfer between the diesel and the water and thus prevent freezing inside the tank. Therefore, the present model uses a solidification and melting module for the simulation. We designed the three-dimensional geometry of the model using Design Modeler software. The model consists of two main parts including a fuel tank and a spiral inner tube for hot water flow. To mesh the present model we have used ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured. So the inner tube uses a finer grid. Problem solving is based on a pressure based perspective. The simulation is transient and also we take the effect of gravity on the model into account. From the scale mesh section we can check the direction in all three dimensions and also view the length unit that is meter in the CFD simulation. From the mesh display section we can display every surfaces include in the computational domain containing walls, inlets, outlets, and so on. As we are going to investigate the heat transfer phenomena in a solidification and melting process, it's obvious that the energy equation should be activated. In the viscous model, the S standard K epsilon model has been used. That is a two equation turbulence model that allow the determination of both a turbulent length and time scale by solving two separate transport equations. Uh, the standard K-Epsilon model is in ANSYS Fluent falls within this class of models and has become the workhorse of practical engineering flow calculations in the time since it was proposed. Uh, robustness, economy, and uh, reasonable r accuracy for a wide range of turbulence flows explain its popularity in industrial flow 
and heat transfer simulations. Also, it is a semi-empirical model. The a standard K epsilon model is a model based on model transport equations for the turbulent kinetic energy K and its dissipation rate epsilon. The model transport equation for K is derived from the exact equation, while the model transport equation for epsilon was obtained using um, physical reasoning in the uh, derivation of the K epsilon model. The assumption is that the flow is fully turbulent and the effect of uh, molecular viscosity are negligible. The standard K epsilon model is therefore valid only for fully turbulent flows. In the near wall treatment option, we select the standard wall function. Uh, because if the K epsilon turbulence model is used like in this simulation, it is not possible to simulate flow vortex near the walls. So a wall function must be defined, that is a standard wall function for this simulation, to investigate the fluid behavior near the wall. The simulation is about phase change materials, so the solidification and melting module should be activated. So we click on solidification and melting button and also define a Mushy zone constant that the Mushy zone constant measures the amplitude of the damping. The higher this value, the steeper the transition of the velocity of the material to zero as it solidifies. Very large values may cause the solution to oscillate. The helical pipe material is copper that we can see the properties of this material in this section. You can buy this learning product to obtain a geometry file, mesh file and a comprehensive training video on how to set up, meaning the pre-processing, solution, processing and extracting results, which is the post-processing and analysis. After some iteration, about uh, some, for example, one minute of iteration, we can check the all the two-dimensional contours in the z equal to zero plane for two dimensional contours this is the temperature contour and as it is obvious we can see that uh, the water in the pipe temperature is equal to 353 degree of kelvin as we mentioned before and also the temperature of the gasoline is still equal to 253 degree of kelvin this is uh, about one minute after the uh, simulation is started. And from the solidification and melting liquid fraction two-dimensional contour, we can easily see that the melting is happening and uh, some part of the gas line that was completely solid uh, start to melt and uh, change to the liquid phase. Following this way of volume integral and volume average, we can check every field variable Suppose that we are going to obtain the liquid fraction after this time interval in the whole tank and the volume fraction is equal to 0 0.063 almost. At the end of the solution and when the simulation is completely done, the liquid fraction of the tank uh, will be equal to 1. To benefit from Mr. CFT services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcft.com.